Hello, good people. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Depending on which country you're watching me from. Oh my God, guys, I've just missed you. It's been a long time since I posted some content, but I talked to, to you in the beginning of this year and I talked about consistency. I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep churning out more content out there. So guys, thank you for your subscription. Thank you for watching and for your comments. And uh, today I'm going to start with a segment of Filmmaking 101 with Rachel Wainaina. As always, you know, I'm a passionate filmmaker. I've been up and about working on a lot of projects and I have some inspiration that I've gotten. And through this segment, I hope I can share my my you know insights and inspirations that i've gotten uh within the last couple of months and within my life with you and you can get something maybe if you're a beginning filmmaker or also you are an established filmmaker there's always something we can always learn with each other when we share our stories so today i want to talk about film financing that is something that we don't always talk about and that's why our industry is really suffering Film financing is a very key part of filmmaking. It's actually one of the most important areas of filmmaking. Why do I say this? It's because film financing is the process of you being able to get funding for your film before you even make your film, being able to convince investors to work with you so that you can be able to make your film. And when it comes to film financing, I feel that most filmmakers uh, take film as a hobby. So I want to encourage all of us from the beginning of this uh, small tutorial to think of film, yes, it's our passion, but also as a business. I can tell you for a fact, I've lived eating, drinking, everything I have is because of filmmaking. So filmmaking can actually be a source of livelihood for all of us. A film set can employ more than actually 1,000 people. And when I talk about this, I can give you an evidence with a movie like The Gladiator, which employed 1,200 people for the movie Gladiator. These are costume designers, actors, crew, you know, ancillary service providers, caterers. These films come with a big budget and they help a lot of people. Now, we live in the era of what we call independent filmmaking, where you and I can actually make films. The, in the age of Thomas Edison and the other people, they couldn't make films. Be, you know, the independent filmmakers could not make films because the studios had dominated the space. Nowadays, independent filmmakers are actually able to get funded, just like the studios, and compete with the studios in getting funded. For instance, we have a lot of Netflix original films, Showmax, and other platforms. And we also have some other independent venture capitalists who want to invest in the film industry. So I'm going to be giving you some basic elements that you can focus on when it comes to film financing. How do you go about film financing? I'm going to tell you a few steps and then we're going to continue learning about this as we go on. And the first step is compliance. Write it in capital letters. There's no way you can say a film is a business and then you don't have that legal entity that is recognized by government, it doesn't matter the country where you're in, uh, that really is driving the business. You're doing business with people. People are gonna put money in your account so that they can fund you. The big question is, are you compliant? Are you registered as a business? You can register different types of businesses. That's not the issue, but are you legally registered as a business? The second issue is also when you talk about compliance, you're talking about regulation, licenses, you know, paying for work permits for external, you know, crew that come to work with you. You're talking about just complying with government laws concerning filmmaking. That is very important. Like in Kenya, for instance, we have drone license, which you need. Uh, so in other countries, you can just fly a drone. But in Kenya, you can't. You have to pay, you know, the KCA. Uh, you need to pay them so that you can fly this drone. Okay, and there are some areas which are not allowed. Like when you go near an army camp you, you cannot shoot with a drone because they have a privacy and a security measure that they've taken so if you fly your drone there you can be arrested and all these other things so when you need film financing first you need to show that you're complying with the law of the country where you're filming 
or of the countries involved in the co-production. So for instance, if you're producing with a producer from Europe, you need to both obey the laws of the two different countries which are coming together to make the film. So that's very important. So compliance is the first issue. The second issue, which is very, very important, you need a physical address. A physical address is somewhere where people can find you. If you have a briefcase company, it will be very difficult for you. So what can you do if you don't have money to rent an office and so? You can partner with other producers or you can also partner with another office or rent a, uh, these office spaces that are fully furnished. You can rent them for the period of your movie so that you can have that physical address for the period where you're doing your movie. That's where you're going to be running your business, filing and everything. So that's very important. Just to let you know, of late, I've realized because we are digitizing, companies are digitizing themselves. So what I've realized is that with these companies digitizing themselves, they need you to sign up on their system so that you can be a supplier before they give you any money. And they, they require all these documents. So what are some of these documents they would require from you? Uh, these documents are very important, by the way. So apart from your script, I know filmmakers, when you want to sell our work, we just develop the movie's business plan and the story pitch, and that's it. That's not enough, my friend. You need to have more documentation. You need to have your company registration. You need to have your tax compliance. You need to have things like your cash flow statements, where you're even able to give your bank statements to show how much money comes in and goes out of your bank account. Just to give you a quick tip that my mother taught me. When you get money, like let's say from anyone, and you need to buy something, even if you need to buy food for your house, just pass it through your company account and then remove it and go and do what you need to do. It helps you to, bring, to build what you call your net worth, such that when somebody takes your bank statements, they're able to see you're a person who always transacts with money, therefore they can trust you with their money. I know with filmmakers, we think it's all about creative business. It's not all about creative business. There's a lot of documentation that goes on before you're given good funding, all right? Then the other thing that you need, once you, you've already, you have those documentation, you need a balance sheet. A balance sheet is a list of assets, loans, you know, uh, who has put in capital. Before somebody gives you their money, they need to know who are the other people who have invested, what is their share in the movie, what is their benefit, so that they can compare and see what benefit they are getting in the movie. So if you don't have a balance sheet, actually you've not even figured out how you're going to pay these people back. And remember, on your liabilities, one of your liabilities will end up being the interest that you're supposed to pay the people who are going to invest in your business. Because that's a, like a loan. They are giving you, but it's a loan. You're going to pay back when you sell this movie. So this is very important. Then the other thing that is very important when you're you're getting funding for a film, write a great business plan. In your business plan, I'll talk to you about that later, but it should have five components. It should cover your research and development. It should cover your marketing projections. It should cover your capacity, that is uh, your equipment and everything. And then it should also cover your human resource, who is working for your film. By the way, I've gone to various film festivals in the world, and the first question they ask you, who's your lead actor? Who's your director? So human resource plays a key role. And also the financing. What's your budget? Uh, what do you need? How much time do you need to get the movie done to sell it? Do you, are the numbers looking good? If your numbers are looking good, you're going to get funded. Then finally, I'm going to give you the last tip for today. Uh, the last tip I'm going to give you is have your story pitch ready. And when you have your story pitch ready, my friend, go to those festivals. Go to those world film markets. Every year when you're starting your year, look at the festivals that you want to attend. That's where you're going to meet the people who are going to finance your films. If you stay in Kenya, nobody is going to fund you in Kenya because in Kenya we've not built our network as an industry enough for the billionaires in our country to give us money. So you need to go out there. So do you have a budget to go to Cannes Film Festival, to go to Venice, to go to Berlin Film Festival, American Film Market, Disco? This is where you're going to meet everybody that you need to tell to finance your film. So once you know those things, you can budget and you can plan yourself better. Let me know what you think about this short tutorial. I hope it's informative. I hope it helps you to think. And if you want to learn more, 
by the way we have classes at youth theme platform africa program you can go check out our website it's www.youthfilmplatformafrica.com you can also you know email us on info at youthfilmplatformafrica.com and we'll get back to you actually we have a current intake we have courses in digital content creation we have courses in filmmaking we have courses in acting for film you can learn online at a flexible, uh, very flexible schedule that is good even for people who are working. And you know what? We only charge our students 30% of the school fees and courtesy of all our partners as a non-profit organization, we sponsor 70% of your school fees. We are here to reach out to youths between 18 years to 35 years based in any African country. It doesn't matter whether you're in Sub-Saharan Africa or other parts of Africa, that's the northern part of Africa, you can apply and we can consider your request. Don't be left out, check out our Facebook page where we keep posting our call for application, um, that is Youth Film Platform Africa. Check us out, we're on Instagram, we're on Twitter, check us out.